In this video, I'm gonna show you how to terminate CAT6A shielded cable with an RJ45 pass-through mod plug. And I'm gonna be using the True Cable True Crimp. I like this device because it has a built-in stripper as well as these crimps. So when you're crimping down these collars, you can use these guys right here. So I just bought this thing and so far so good. It's pretty well made, but we'll see over time. I'm also gonna be using the Knipix shears to do my precision cutting work. So first things first, I'm going to strip using the built-in stripping tool. Usually I just use my snips, but this thing actually works pretty well. So give it a nice turn like that. And it should just score the jacket. It should not penetrate the shield. So you wanna take the, the shield back and wrap it around the bottom of the cable. Next, we wanna separate the twisted pairs and expose the spleen or the spline we want to get that thing out of there. Sometimes you can just twist it off and rip it, but if you can't do that, then you're going to have to get it nice and trimmed down so it doesn't interfere with the RJ45 plug. So next step is untwist these, and you can use an untwisting tool or you can use the uh, sleeve but I'm just gonna be using my fingers. And if you're doing hundreds of these, then you might wanna get a better way to untwist them because it will wear out your fingers. This Cat6A shielded cable, the twists are really tight. This particular cable is actually pretty well made, so. And this is solid copper cable when you're doing rj45s you want stranded but best practices overall is to use a keystone to terminate but in the event where you need to do an rj45 then you want to use stranded so we want to get them all as flat as possible and untwisted and we're going to be doing T568B so that's orange white orange green white blue blue white green and then brown white brown so since we're doing pass-through connectors, we can have a lot of this wire exposed. You kind of want to have a lot because you're going to push it through the pass-through. So get it nice and flat as possible. And then let's go ahead and trim it to make it nice and even. So you can get it into this pass-through plug. Just like that. And what's nice about pass-throughs, I know a lot of people don't like them because of the exposed copper at the end of it. What's nice about them is you can see the color coding so you don't make as many mistakes. It's good for people with poor vision. And then it also allows you to get the jacket all the way up there. All right, so next we want to make sure that this is nice and trimmed up. So trim up next. You want to get this collar wrapped around it. And you can use your snips to put it into place, and then we're going to use this crimping tool that comes on the true crimp. So first we'll use 
this bigger one right here. So we'll place the cable in there and then just kind of get it so it forms around the cable and then move on to the second, the smaller one, and then you can crimp it down like that. So that gets a nice rounded contact onto the cable. Look at that. Lastly, we want to crimp down so you can see it has this blade on it, which will slice the end of these wires. So line it up, kind of bend them up a little bit so they don't hit the blade. Make sure it's nice and snug up there and then crimp it down like that. Then it should have a nice flush cut with it. And that's it. That's pretty much it. It's, it's quite the task to do these RJ45 shielded ends, but if you have a nice tool like this with everything built into it, it makes life a lot easier. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.